Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and this evening I just wanted to share with you really quickly some mail that I got. I would call it nail mail, or just, I placed a bundle monster order and a julep order. I haven't placed a julep order in a while, and the last that I think you guys had heard of me and julep, <clears throat> I had um, canceled my subscription because I had said that I was getting all of those bottles of polish and I wasn't really using any of them and so I hated that I had gotten rid of my subscription and after I did that I had heard that they were going up in the price of the box and changing the box and I was kind of sorry that I did it but I did do it for what I felt was a good reason but in the end I ended up getting my subscription back I had contacted someone and asked for it back Within a few months after I'd done that, I'd say maybe three or four months, and then from that point on, I had been skipping the boxes. And I was glad that I got it back because they had the birthstone collection, I think it was, that I got. I got all of the colors for one year. I didn't do it for the second year. And then last year, they had the Zodiac collection, which I wanted all of those. And I may have to get the 12-piece set, even though I have three of them here, because one of them they're out of. But there's also one for 17. So it is the Zodiac 2016 that I'm trying to collect up now. But I did go ahead and renew my box, and I have not gotten a box until now. And the three colors that I got this time... And this is the May box, so I haven't got a box from the time I canceled until now. And this is, let's see, Marina Classic with a Twist. And this is almost like a shade that I did a look with um, for one of my uniforms, but it is pretty. These are metallic looking. I don't know if they're sheer because I haven't opened them up. But they remind me of July the 4th, even though they are the male box. The second shade that I have is Shannon or Channon with a C H A N N O N It Girl. And this is a white pearly shade. And then the third one that I have here is Kayla from the Bombshell. And I do still have boxes um, of Julep polish. I've got about 70 on my dresser. And I plan to make these my next target. As you know, I said a while back that I was going to be trying to target some plates and polishes that I haven't used. So I'm going to be trying to get into some of these. And these bottles are small enough that I think if I use these um, for a couple of weeks that I'd probably put a dent in them. I just want to wear something different all the time. It came with a free polish coupon thing here which will come in handy the color they had that I really like called cam they didn't have my box is still $19.99 they allowed me to redo that it's still the $19.99 price and then I got this clean slate pen I do like their cuticle pen which I need another one I just didn't like what it cost but this right here is just a little cleanup tool and I have a couple of these I haven't used them and even when the tip dries down you can dip it into the nail polish remover of your choice this item I got to add to the box it was free um, and that's all that I got there the next mail that I got that was nail related was I finally got through my bundle monster order because I had been having trouble when I was trying to order the mermaid plate that they had and I was worried they were going to sell out and that order and this order was successful so we will see but I got this plate right here I didn't get the set this is bundle monster s167 I got this purely because of a nail look that I saw on Instagram and I don't have the lady's name but she did a really pretty colorful look I believe she used mostly china glaze polishes and one of the polishes was something else I don't have it but I did have all the china glaze polishes and I just thought this was a cute plate and this is the forest plate and what she used was primarily the um, plant areas there were no animals in her daycare none of these were I'm sorry no animals in her daycare I'm very sleepy tonight there were no animals on her nail care look it would appear that she used just um, the trees and the greenery so again I'm so sorry I know you can't really see this but if you're familiar with this plate again it is bundle monster s167 if you'd like to look it up 
The next one that I got here, and I haven't even opened these up yet, they're still sealed, is, let's see if it tells me what it is. It says beginnings on the package and single XL plate, but I do know that this plate had a name. And on my packaging here, it just has the numbers. So we're going to open this up and see, since this is right here, luckily. I just did my nails not too long ago. They're dry, but they're still in that stage where I could ding them or something, and that's what I'm trying not to do. And it's funny how it seems like every time I do a nail look or I do something with my nails, I encounter packaging that gives me trouble getting it out. So this plate is called Flower Angel. And I got it mainly for this section down here. These flowers here. But these are some nice single flowers as well. And some images here. And as you can see, I did use my Lena Nail Art Plate Make Your Mark. I wanted to try the splatters with the butterfly look that I saw, but I feel like I need a little bit more length. But what I did do here, you can't see underneath there, but I have on the um, I Believe in Manicures OPI, and I took my Sky Blue Mundo de Unis, and I put the, one of the splattered shades. It was a whole splatter, and you can't really see that, but it's those lighter areas if you can detect anything light in there. And then I did the I Love Street Art and then I did the little heart. Now I know people with longer nails are able to put these two together. They're able to put like this and then put this heart down from it so I don't have a lot of length there. But I do want to try the other one over black so I just tried this for now. And these are the letters, the letters on that plate. It looks more like a design now that it's on my nail just like a squiggly design but I ended up liking this. But this is a plate that I got, and this one again is called Flower Angel Bundle Monster Extra Large, and the number is 351. And I will put this into my box with my newer stamping plates so that I can try to use these. The last thing that I got here is Rub-On Nail Decals. Now, I haven't tried these before. This is going to be my first attempt with these. But there are directions on the back. It says cut out your selected design and peel away the white paper backing. On dry polished nails, acrylic or gel base works well too. Apply the design sticky side down. So apparently something on this is sticky. And then it says firmly rub over the sheet to ensure the sticker adheres to the nail. Remove clear um, sheet from your nail and seal with a top coat. So what I will probably do is I will look up rub on nail decals on YouTube just to see how this goes. I also still want to use another one of my vanilla nail art stencils if I get a little bit more length because I got a little bit now. I need twice this length and then I'll try working with those. If I don't get anything going on because I've already got a thick peel going on over here that could turn into a crack but I've covered it with polish. But I like the red look that I did um, where I used my mash plate with the little letters. I might do that look again and then change the accent nails, but I really did like that look. But if any of you have tried these, let me know what you think. And I apologize for my tone. I Not only am I very tired and half asleep, I've managed to have caught in a cold from work. So I'm right at that stage where my colds peak and get a little worse before they get better. So I'm right at the top of that arc before I start coming down and getting better. I've also had some cold medicine in me, but I wanted to share this. And you can see I'm still having trouble with my camera on my phone as well. But hopefully I can get all that straightened out. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that I have not done a julep haul in a long, long while. And that was why. Because I had stopped. I also want to get some more of these. Um, the Walgreens that I went to doesn't have any more colors than the ones that I found. I think I still want a turquoise, a silver, a white, and a black, regardless uh, that I've already got a black. Certain things I like in every color I can get them in. It don't matter if I've got it in 25 different, you know, brands of that color already. Because I know I have a lot of um, aquadelic, like China Glaze aquadelic type colors in every brand, but I do like that color. But until the next time, 
everyone have a great evening and stay well.